This is the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, January 13th, 2018. Eight live races on the card with a special 115 post, and of course, the poly track is fast. The first race this afternoon is a maiden at Philly three year old claimer. The claiming tag 15,000 down to 10, the distance six and one half furlongs. Scratch numbers one and two. Morning line favorite, the first time starter to the outside. Number nine, Cause Me Grief from the barn of Wesley Ward. They are off. Cause Me Grief broke sharp, but it's Blue Fashioned uh, who has the most speed, also emerging from between horses. There goes Lawless. Down along the inside, Perry Utes hustling up, tell it in a melody. So well bunched on the run down the back stretch, the field of seven covered by just about three lengths from top to bottom, and it's now Club Bay Atlantic who emerges with lead. Up on the outside, Lawless is now second. Tell it in it melody slides up the fence while third majestic bold is a close up fourth through from the inside there goes tap it at and starts to close in cause me grief is taking a wide angle to that far turn run and blue fashioned is last the first quarter was 23 and two fifth second there goes majestic bold uh, cut loose up to the outside following that one cause me grief Still fighting on between horses. Lawless is third. Whip comes out on Club Bay Atlantic in the fourth and running on from the back. Now Blue Fashion has moved into fifth. The half mile was 47 and two. And it's Majestic Bold and the Rogelio Miranda is going to arrive at the top of the lane with the three length lead and opening up by the eighth pole. It's Majestic Bold. The daughter of Majestic Warrior is pouring it on. Here's Cause Me Grief from the back of the pack on debut is closing in. But in the final Florence Furlong, Majestic Bold now getting out and running erratic through the stretch, but has enough in the tank to win it. She'll win by about two and a half. First, her Cause Me Grief was second. Lawless third. Tell it in a melody was fourth. And it was number six, Majestic Bold, a second off the claim by Kelsey Danner to win to break her maiden going away for owner Evelyn Darrell Yates. Number six, Majestic Bold, ridden by Rogelio Miranda. First career training victory for Kelsey Danner. Number six, Majestic Bold, returns 820, 340, 220. Finishing second, number nine, Cause Me Grief. Third, number five, Lawless. And fourth, the three, Tell It in a Melody. The exact to 2240, the try, $20.30. The super, $216.20. And the running time for the six and one half furlongs, one minute, 21 seconds flat. Today's second race is a claimant event, a wide open $5,000 claimer to go six furlongs. Scratch numbers one, four, five, six. Victor LeBron picks up number three, Enchanted Ram Bam. And the favorite, number two, Laguna Diamonds in search of three wins in a row. Post. And they are off. Enchanted Rambam missed the break and is last. It's Lagoon of Diamonds, as expected, sending on out for the early lead. Saturday at Bernie's races second. Beach had a close up third. Towards that one's inside, Leota Double E is a joint uh, th uh, second now. Those three in the line at about five in front of the slow starting Enchanted Rambam. The quintet covered by just about seven or eight lengths from top to bottom, and it's pace setting Lagoon of Diamonds. One to catch. Laguna Diamonds past the half mile pole shows them by a length and a half. Beach Hut now a clear cut second. Saturday at Bernie's third. Leota Double E has been shuffled back into fourth. Now Enchanted Rambam is on the move from the back of the pack. The first quarter was 24 and three. Soft fractions for the 10 year old Laguna Diamonds in search of three wins in a row. Arrives at the quarter pole with a three length lead. Beach Hut. Beach Hut in full out pursuit there in second. To the inside, Saturday at Bernie's third. Enchanted Rambam moves a closer fourth. They're in the final furlong. Whip comes out on Laguna Diamonds, but still in front by four. Beach Hut still second. No twist in the plot. Saturday at Bernie's third. And Laguna of Diamonds, never in doubt. Laguna of Diamonds now in a three race win streak. Wins by half a dozen or so. Beach Hut was a second. Saturday at Bernie's third. And then came Enchanted Rambam in fourth. The six furlongs timed up on the board. One, 11, and four. Number two, Lagoon of Diamonds. Broke first and never looked back. Walks the dog all the way up top through some soft fractions and is now on a three-race win streak. Number two, Lagoon of Diamonds is a 10-year-old owned and trained by Kim Heyman and Azale De Leon, once again the winning jockey. The winner, 280, 210, 210. Second, number nine, Beach Hut. Third, number eight, Saturday at Bernie's. And fourth, number three, Enchanted Ram Bam. Exacta 580, the try, 640, and the Daily Double is worth $14. The running time was 111 and four. 
Third race is a maiden claimant event for the Phillies and Mares. 30000 down to twenty. the claimant tag. They'll go a mile. Scratch 2, 3, and 5. Morning line favorite number 4, Moment of Triumph for owner Doug Terry. They are off. Emmy Shemmy jumps first. Also quick into stride is Moment of Triumph. Between those two, sandwiched is Twisted Adage. The gray column A is spun out of four wide fourth. Meanwhile, Street Performer saves all the ground and moves a closer fifth. Skip the Talk is a next, racing about six or seven lengths off of the lead, then a margin of four or five lengths back to Tweety Show, who's way out in the middle of the course while racing last past the six for a long marker in the first quarter. Slow, 26 seconds flat. So Twisted Adage. From 10 to 1, bet down to 3 to 1, shows the way up the back stretch. The lead has been dwindled down to just a length and a half now as Moment of Triumph moves a closer second. Street Performer continues to save the ground while racing third. Four links for the back. Skip the talk, advanced a couple of positions, and is up into fourth just past Emmy Shimmy. Then a link for the back to Colin Bay, who uh, races about eight off the lead now, and then a margin of seven or eight links back to the trailer. Way out at the back of the pack, continuing to be last is Tweety Show. The half mile, 50 and 2. So through from the inside, Street Performer has now taken the lead as Twisted Added starts to backpedal as they continue to run around the turn. So on the inside, Street Performer, moment of drive up to the outside second. Whip comes out on uh, Skip the Talk, who is third as they run at the top of the lane. Street Performer cut the corner. Street Performer shows the way by a length and a half. Moment of Triumph is wondering about the course, racing erratically inside the eighth pole, so it's still Street Performer on the step up in class, shows the way. The lead is now three. Moment of Triumph up into second. Skip the Talk third from the back of the pack. Tweety Show with a good stretch rally, racing up into third, but it's Street Performer to pull the slight upset. Moment of Triumph in a photo there with Tweety Show, who was way out last, who flew to be up in that photo in 143 and 3. Number one, Street Performer gets it done. Breaks Maiden here in start 15 uh, and rides the rail to victory. Owned by the 48 Flat Racing, trained by Randy Hafner, Gabe Lagunas, the winning jockey. The winner returns uh, 1160 $4. Finishing uh, second was number four, Moment of Triumph, third, Number seven, Tweety Show. Fourth, number nine, Skip the Talk. Exacta 3520. The Tri, 142.80. Daily Double, 23.20. The Super, $1,081.80. And the Pick 3, $57.10. The running time for the one mile, 143.3. and three. Today's fourth race is a claimant event for four olds and up, which have not won a race in the last calendar year. Six and a half furlongs is the distance. Scratch 2, 6, 13, 14. Jockey change for the eight to Azale de Leon. And the morning line favorite draws to the outside. Number 12, Barrister Jim with Victor LeBron. They are at the post. They are racing. It's Piner Cad who's sending on out. Also, Barrister Jim uh, will be a pace presence up to the outside, and these two will lead him out of that six and a half furlong shoot. Clearly, perfection off the gate in the third position. Doro now moves a closer fourth along the inside. Following that one, Hurricane Pass has moved in the fifth. Up on the outside at two Minute Man races six. Towards that one's inside is Rink has privileges, and the Green Cougar will have to pass them all. The first quarter was 24 and a three fifth seconds. Barrister Jim to the outside of Piner Cat. These two match strides as they head into that far turn. Doral racing third about three and a half off the pace. Now Rank has privileges, has moved into fourth. Whip comes out on two Minute Man in fifth. And now from the back of the pack, the Green Cougar is moving wide and really closing in on that far turn run. The half was a controlled 48 and one. So it's Barrister Jim and a confident Victor LeBron just narrowly from Piner Cat who's being uh, urged along to keep pace and these two will turn them on down. Piner Cat cut the corner but Barrister Jim has the momentum up to the outside to Earl. Now third continuing to rally. The Green Cougar coming with giant strides down to the center track in fourth just outside the 16th pole. Barrister Jim uh, and Piner Cat continuing to slug it out as they race in deep stretch and Barrister Jim uh, has gained the upper hand wins it. Half a length. Hunter Cat second, the Green Cougar third, tight for fourth between a late running Hurricane Pass and Duro in 120 and three. Number 12, Barrister Jim as the favorite delivers for owner trainer Brian Michael and Victor LeBron, the winning jockey. Barrister Jim, the son of Lawyer Ron, returns 580 for 2260. Finishing second was number four, Piner Cat. 
Third, number five, the Green Cougar. And fourth, the one, Du Oro. Exacta, 2360. Try, 3170. Double, 50 bucks. The Super, $557. And 40 cents. The winning pick three, forty dollars and thirty cents. Running time for the six and one at Furlongs, one twenty and three fifths seconds. Today's fifth race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. Eight thousand down the seven thousand is the claiming tag. The distance one mile. Scratch one a two five. Put Rafael Mojica on the seven and scratch twelve and thirteen. A morning line favorite for owner Dennis Beerman, number one Salt Star in search of two wins in a row. They are off. Way to an even beginning. See the bird from the middle. Also, Dan Doville up on the outside. Chalk down low. Even Will Gracie shine way out wide, but will prompt the pace on the run the first turn. So, up top, Dan Doville. And now Choctaw and Will Gracie Shine clear off. So it's uh, Choctaw to the inside, Will Gracie Shine to the outside. These two have quickened four lengths better than Dan Doville, who's back in third. Salt Star will race fourth. About four and a half lengths off as they set up the backside through a first quarter, 25 and one. Then a length to half for the back, a Spirit racing along in the fifth position, probably about six lengths off the lead now. And then a length for the back, two, a Spring Mountain Miss. Way out wide, Martha Rose must be in about the eight path. And then a length for the back to Myositis Mystique. And now see the bird is last. They're starting to bunch up though, maybe eight lengths from top to bottom. They pass the half in 49 and two. Choctaw takes over the lead. Up on the outside now, quickly. There goes Dayan Doville. Dayan Doville turns the heat up to the outside of Choctaw. Three lengths for the back from the between horses. Spirit is next. Spring Mountain Miss is coming under a ride, and from the back of the pack, see the bird is exploding with giant strides on that far turn run. But as they run around the turn to the top of the lane, Dayan Doville still there. Choctaw being put to the test actually comes out and forces Salt Star out into the path of see the bird as they run to the top of the stretch. It's Dayan Doville, but Myositis Mystique is snuck through a long defense. Myositis Mystique and Victor LeBron by the eighth pole slides on underneath and opening up with authority by the 16th Pole. Miles Sidus Mystique by two, now by three. The battle's for the balance. Miles Sidus Mystique wins it. Tight photo for second there. From the between horses was Salt Star. See the bird was to the outside, and Dan Doville was fourth in 144. Flat. Number three, Miles Sidus Mystique rallies from far back and slides through along the fence under a rail skimming ride by jockey Victor LeBron. Number three, Miles Sidus Mystique. She's owned by Gary Lucas, John Morrison, James Williams, and Dennis Roberson. And also, Dennis Roberson was the winning trainer. The winner, ten dollars three sixty two eighty. Finishing second, number one, Salt Star. Third, number six, See the Bird, and fourth, number seven, Day in Deauville. The exacta forty two sixty. The try one hundred thirty nine twenty. Daily double, 51 bucks. The pick four for 50 cents, $148.65. The 50 cent pick five, $370.45. The pick three, $157. And the super, $868. Running time for the one mile, 144 flat. Tonight's sixth race is an allowance event for four-year-olds and up, which have never won three lifetimes, six and a half furlongs is the distance. Field of eight to go with the morning line favorite number seven, Maniacal, one of two in this race for trainer Wesley Ward. They are off. Balazar missed the break, but it was a quick beginning for Iron Main and stable bait Maniacal. Through from between horses, both pitch count and infinite midnight. Now down on the inside, unstabled will slide underneath and prompt the pace, but it's Maniacal who's cleared off by just almost two lengths. Unstabled, racing in the second position just towards the inside of a pitch count, Infinite Midnight and uh, Iron Maiden. Now Balazar, who broke uh, horribly, has raced up to the outside and is already up into a joint second through a first quarter in 24 and three fifths seconds. On to the far turn, about three eighths of a mile from home. It's Maniacal shows the way, unstabled. Trying to slide through along the fence there in second. Iron Main is a three wide third. Infant Midnight up in the fourth position. Pitch count just needs somewhere to run next. Then comes a Balazar. And now from the back of the pack, Jingle Me This, the Grayson of Artie Schiller is moving out into about the four path as they run at the top of the lane, half mile 48 and one of fifth seconds. Maniacal floating well off the rail, still has the lead. Infinite Midnight trying to come underneath between those two unstabled. Down the center of the track, Iron Main inside the final furlong. It's Maniacal and Julio Garcia. 
Garcia showing the way. Stable Maid, Iron Maiden running at the leader to the outside in second. Maniacal Iron Maiden, Maniacal wins a half aside from Stable Maid, Iron Maiden, who was in a photo there with Infinite Midnight for the second position. Then came Jingle Me This, Pitch Count, Unstable to Fulkerson, and Balazar wag the tail. Number seven, Maniacal. Virtually takes him from start to finish here for owner, trainer, breeder, Wesley Ward. Number seven, Maniacal, now a three-time winner, coming in just his ninth career start. Maniacal, 440, 320, and $3 to show. Finishing second was Stablemate, number eight, Iron Man. Third, number five, Infinite Midnight. Finishing fourth, number four, Jingle Me This. The Exacta 1940, the try, $85.30. The Daily Double, $31.20. Super, $1,009.20. And the Rolling Pick 3, $48.50. Running time for the 6.5, $119 and 2. Today's seventh race is an allowance optional claiming event to go a one mile. Scratch the 7 Hinton. That leaves the Morning Line favorite as number 4, Lucky Ramsey. Jockey Victor LeBron in search of three wins on the card. They are off. Hunk of burning love. Uh, being hard hustled out of the gate. Silentio on the stretch out will be a pace presence as well. These two hook up on the run the first turn. Bandar takes in proceedings from third to his outside. Lucky Ramsey fourth. Warden of the West racing along in the fifth position. Just about four lengths off of the lead as they head over to that first turn. Then there's a margin of about nine or ten links back to the two trailers they are eden ridge and Oathkeeper way out at the back probably about 16 links off the lead and that leader is hunk of burning love so hunk of burning love on the stretch out took him through a first quarter in 25 seconds flat and bumps the margin to just about six and a half lengths bandar back in the second position silentio to the outside third then comes lucky ramsey fourth warden of the west way out wide in fifth and is still about seven or eight links back to the two trailers Eden Ridge and Oathkeeper the half 48 and two so hunk of burning love uh, still shows the way but the lead is diminishing as Bandar is closing in Lucky Ramsey in a good stalking position while racing third they continue to run around the turn it's still hunk of burning love the leads four to, and then comes up Bandar to the outside. Now Lucky Ramsey starts to close in. Four links for the back. Here comes Eden Ridge from the back of the pack. Oathkeeper is way out in the parking lot as they run at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 114 and one. And they turn on down just outside the eighth pole. Oots going to work on a hunk of burning love. And up on the outside, Lucky Ramsey continuing to cut away at that lead. Lucky Ramsey up to the outside, a hunk of Bernard Love who's digging down deep and fighting on Gamely, but he's not going to win it. Lucky Ramsey picks up the pieces and rolls away late to win by just about a length and a half. Hunk of Burning Love was second. Eden Ridge flew to be third, and the other trailer, Oathkeeper, was in a photo for fourth with Bandar, and the running time was 141 and 2. Number four, Lucky Ramsey benefits from that fast pace up top set by Hunk of Burner Love. Number four, Luxy. Check that. Sorry. Three, two, one. And it was number four, Lucky Ramsey, who benefits from that hot pace, rolls away late to win. Number four, Lucky Ramsey, owned by Jenna Wagner and Jeff Gardello, the winning trainer, Mike Maker, and three victories on the card for Victor LeBron. Number four, Lucky Ramsey, 440, 260, 280. Finishing second, pace setter number five, Hunk of Burnin' Love. Third number one, Eden Ridge. And fourth, the eight, Oath Keeper. Exacta 1480, try $32. Super 271.60. Rolling double, 18 bucks. The pick three, $23.95. The running time, 141 and two. The eighth and final is a maiden claimer for four olds and up. The claiming tag, $5,000, six and a half for longs the distance. Scratch one, four, 13, 14. Morning line favorite, number two, Anz O Prado with De Leon. 13 time maiden in the line, they're at the post, and they are off. Command the stars, broken a tangle, and must be about 15 links out at the back as they leave that six and a half furlong shoot. It's Hanson gone west, shows the way through from the inside, holding my own. Comedy Zone off the gate, racing in the third position. Ancient Mulder and Malcolm Franklin settles along nicely in fourth, four links in front of Mantana. Then comes Numbers and Never Lie, and three links for the back to Anzo Prado and Judds Hudson. And after that blown start on debut, Command the Stars is about a sixteenth of a mile last. First quarter, 23 and two. There goes Holding My Own. Uh, 
Kicking off in front by two, Hanson gone west back in the second position. Comedy zone out wide while third, Agent Motor. Whip comes out on that one in fourth and through from the inside. Uh, here comes numbers never lie, the half 47 and two. And Hanson gone west back at holding my own. Three wide, there goes Comedy Zone as they turn on down for the money, the half 47 and two. It's Hanson's gone west, Comedy Zone ratcheting it up the pressure there in second. From the back of the pack, down the center of the track, still gaining good ground is Judd Hudson even further out, Mantana outside the 16th pole, Comedy Zone taking over, and now Agent Motor has kicked it into top gear, way out wide, Mantana looking to come over the top, past the crown of the course, Mantana gets it done way out wide in start number 16 for Darrell Brown at 22 to 1. Number 9, Mantana way out wide gets up to win and start number 16th and lights up the tote board at 22 to 1 for owner Caitlin Mackey, Darrell Brown, Rogelio Miranda up top for his second victory on the card. Mantana 46 40, 19 80, 10 40. Second big long shot number 7, Judge Hudson, 38 Agent Mulder finishing fourth number 10, Comedy Zone, and another long shot for fifth number 11, numbers never lie. The exacta was $946.20. The daily double $184. The 50 cent pick for $2,012.85. And the superfecta $69,347.40. That was for a $2 wager. No winners in the high five. That carry over over $1,300. Bucks. And the trifecta for a $1 ticket, $5,324.40. Running time for the six and a half, 122 and two. Well, that wraps it up for Racing from Turfway Park for Saturday, January 13th, 2018. From all of us here at the track, thank you for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.